Today we are going to perform the cervical physical examination and the first step is to look for the active cervical range of motion of flexion and extension. So I would request my subject to please perform the flexion and extension. Okay, so once we are done with the active range of motion, we can perform the passive range of motion as well as we can perform the inclinometry. So for the passive range of motion, what we can do, we can place our hands and then we can perform the flexion and extension like this. Or you can place one hand in front of the patient's forehead and then the place other hand behind the head and perform the maximum flexion and perform the maximum extension. Now we need to look for or measure the actual range of motion in degrees. There are two tools available. One is a universal goniometer and the other is inclinometer. So right now I'm using bubble inclinometer. It's very easy to use. So you need to look for the topmost point in the patient's head. Place this and set this level to zero. This is the starting position. And we would request our subject or patient to perform the flexion range of motion. Yes. And we need to look for this range of motion. So that is about 50 degrees right now. Now I would request to come back to neutral position, which is about 0 degrees now again. And from here we can perform the movement of extension all the way. Now we need to look for the inner side and that is about 55 degrees. So this is the active range of motion of patient for flexion and extension. I hope you like this video. Thank you very much.